Hi and welcome back to your MESE lesson, I'm Natalie. Now that you understand the concept of answering questions negatively with have never been plus noun, adjective or prepositional phrase, let's really practice. Before we begin, let's review the conjugation that you learned in video A. Please repeat after me and remember to focus on your pronunciation and conversation speed. No, I've never been. Good, let's do it faster. No, I've never been. Excellent. No, you've never been. Good, let's speed it up again. No, you've never been. Good, that's the speed you should use in order to speak fluently. Let's continue. No, he's never been. No, she's never been. No, we've never been. No, they've never been. Great, you need to memorize this conjugation for fluency. Let's move on. Let's build a full answer with the prepositional phrase on a blind date. Please repeat after me. No, I've never been on a blind date. No, you've never been on a blind date. Now, let's work on your speed and do that one again. No, you've never been on a blind date. No, he's never been on a blind date. Excellent. Now let's add the preposition before. Please repeat. No, she's never been on a blind date before. No, we've never been on a blind date before. No, they've never been on a blind date before. Great, let's start practicing. This time, let's practice changing the subject and using the same prepositional phrase on a blind date plus before. Please read and listen first and then answer the question. Have you ever been on a blind date before? Please answer. Good job. Remember, you have to work on your speed. Please repeat. No, I've never been on a blind date before. Has Hillary? No, she's never been on a blind date before. Please repeat. Good job. Now let's practice changing to the adjective fired. Have you ever been fired before? Please answer. Excellent. No, I've never been fired before. Please repeat. Good. Has Nate? Please answer. No, he's never been fired before. Please repeat. Great. Have you ever been a substitute teacher before? Good. Remember to work on your intonation. Please repeat. No, I've never been a substitute teacher before. What about your cousin, Danny? Good. No, he's never been a substitute teacher before. Please repeat again. Great. Now let's make a more specific question by adding a new prepositional phrase. Have you ever been a substitute teacher for a middle school before? Please answer. Very nice. No, I've never been a substitute teacher for a middle school before. Please repeat.
Great. Has your friend Kathleen ever been guilty of slacking off at work? No, she's never been guilty of slacking off at work. Please repeat. Great job. Let's practice with the noun an appeaser plus the prepositional phrase to the management. Has Mary ever been an appeaser to the management? No, he's never been an appeaser to the management. Please repeat. Good. Now let's practice some modern English. An appeaser can also be said as a yes man. Remember, speed and intonation are important when you use slang. Ready? Has Mary ever been a yes man to the management? Please answer. No, he's never been a yes man to the management. Please repeat. Follow my intonation, repeat after me. He's never been a yes man to the management. Excellent. Now let's try using another prepositional phrase. Have you ever been a yes man in order to get a promotion? Please answer. No, I've never been a yes man in order to get a promotion. Please repeat. Let's try two prepositional phrases. Has Ernest ever been a bore in a group? Please answer. No, he's never been a bore in a group. Please repeat. Great. Let's learn the slang for a boa, a drag, and change the prepositional phrase. Ready? Have Karen and Juliet ever been drags during a party? Please answer. No, they've never been drags during a party. Please repeat. Great, let's use the adjective unable to speak and change the prepositional phrase again. Has Kathy ever been unable to speak at a presentation? Please answer. Good work. No, she's never been unable to speak at a presentation. Please repeat. Great, so for the last one, let's learn the slang for unable to speak, tongue-tied. Ready? Has Kathy ever been tongue-tied in front of a crowd? Please answer. Well done, no, she's never been tongue-tied in front of a crowd. Please repeat. Great. Please practice with this video until you are able to answer questions fluently. Remember, by changing the prepositional phrases and time references on your own, you will be able to speak fluent English. When you're ready, move on to video C to test your progress. I'm Natalie and I look forward to seeing you next time. Good luck.